The snipers and marksman rifles are one of, if not, the most intimidating class of weapons to complete in the game. There's a lot to go over here, so if you're looking for specific tips, timestamps will be in the description below. There are 6 weapons in total to complete to get platinum. 3 for the snipers, the AX-50, HDR, and the Dragon Off, and 3 marksman rifles, the EBR, MK2 Carbine, and the Car 98 k The crossbow and the SKS are not required to get platinum, but you do need to complete the snipers and marksman rifles to receive it. I've had a few people ask me what order they should complete the weapons in, so here's my list in order from hardest to easiest so grinding them gets easier as time goes on. For the snipers, you're going to want to start with the Dragon Off, work to the HDR, and then finish off with the AX-50. For marksman rifles, you're going to want to start with the Car 98 go to the EBR, and then finish with the MK2. As for doing one class type before the other, I found the marksman rifles to be far easier, but the snipers to be more satisfying to use. I recommend if this is your first time using either of these, you should start with the marksman rifles to ease your way into the snipers. If you're still having a hard time deciding what guns to use first, here's a quick rundown on each of the required guns for this challenge. The Car 98K is a bolt action rifle that requires the user to be as accurate as possible to avoid dying during a rechamber. The car has the longest range and the highest damage output of the marksman rifles, but is the least mobile of the bunch. The EVR is a semi-automatic rifle that can dominate at most ranges, having the middle ground in terms of range, mobility, and damage out of the marksman rifles, basically the most balanced of the group. The MK2 Carbine is a lever-action rifle that is great at medium and short range. It is the most accurate of the group combined with the fastest fire rate and the most mobility. The MK2 is the best marksman rifle for a rushdown playstyle. I went ahead and made the gun stats easier to read and added a yellow dot to display the best stat as well as a white dot displaying the worst stat. If you need time to look through this, go ahead and pause the video now. The HDR is the best sniper at long range, and my personal favorite for Warzone. To add to its insane range, the HDR is also the most accurate, and to balance it all out, the HDR is the slowest to move with as well as to shoot with. The AX-50 is the most balanced of the snipers, and feels the most like a COD sniper. Also the AX-50 is the most fun to use for trick shots. The Dragonov is a semi-automatic sniper rifle that is the worst gun in the game and one of the most annoying guns to complete. It has the best fire rate and mobility of all the snipers, but it also has, and I kid you not, the worst stats in all other categories. Take a look for yourself. Here's the stats for the sniper rifles. Looking into the playstyle, snipers have one of the steepest learning curves out of all the weapons in COD. The game is normally played fast and up close, but if you're just now starting on the snipers, it's better to play far back and slow. So try to stay away from shipment unless you're super confident in your sniping abilities. However, I went and tried every sniper on shipment, and it's actually pretty fun, and really good if you need kills and can react fast. Also, it's probably better if you don't worry about your KD. But definitely make sure the sniper or marksman you're using has the fastest ADS speed you can give it. The game modes that I've found work best for snipers are ground war, plunder, and normal matchmaking on larger maps. These modes have plenty of players, open areas for long shots, and more mounted spot opportunities as well as an overall better chance of getting camos done. But, if you're working another gun as well as a sniper or a marksman, playing Warzone with an overkill sniper class is a good way to passively unlock camos. Hardcore will also be very good for snipers, so you can avoid most of the hit marker curse that comes along with sniping. Camping is also an option for getting camos, sitting at a place with a nice vantage point is a wet dream for snipers. The challenges for these camos aren't the most difficult to do, but learning the snipers and getting used to them is, so keep that in mind when grinding these. Also, if you have any tips that I don't mention in this video, please leave them in the comments below. Spray paint requires you to kill 450 enemies. This one is easy, you'll get it done just by using the gun. Difficulty? Easy. Woodland requires you to kill 60 enemies with headshots. This one will get easier the more comfortable you get with your gun, but focusing on getting a few per game early into grinding is the easiest way to get it done. Difficulty? Semi-hard. Digital requires you to get 50 crouching kills. These are really easy if you camp just a little bit. Snipers are literally made to sit still and use from a distance, plus crouching with a bipod or even just in general gives you the increased accuracy, so why not do it? Difficulty? Dumb. Dragon requires you to kill 50 enemies with a single shot. Snipers almost always kill in one shot anyways, so switching to hardcore just makes this challenge even easier. Difficulty? Stupid easy. Splinter requires you to get 150 kills with all attachments. Difficulty? Also easy. Topo requires you to get 50 long shot kills. Long shots are a little harder than most other camos. Usually what I do is ADS on random sight lines on the map, and if I look and think, wow, that's pretty far, then it's probably a long shot. Ground War, Plunder, and Warzone, and multiplayer games on larger maps are what I aim for when going for long shots. Difficulty? Tedious as hell. Tiger requires you to get 50 mounted kills. Mounted kills will always be the most frustrating, useless camos to get. Just find a spot that is relatively safe, mount up, and get ready to get bored. Warzone, Plunder, and Ground War are the best modes to make this easier. Difficulty? Lame. 
Stripes requires you to get 25 double kills. You know a camo is challenging when a collateral is the fastest method for getting it done. Playing around choke points and objectives help a lot. Difficulty? Tough. For Reptile, you need to get 75 kills with no attachments. This one's not too crazy, so Hardcore will be your best choice for this challenge and makes it easier to get kills without your sniper being beefed up. Difficulty? Kinda bad. Show me who did it! She kinda bad though. Is that Frost? For Skulls, you need to kill 3 enemies without dying 25 times. This one may seem intimidating, but staying alive with a sniper is probably the easiest thing you can do on a large map. Just pick off people from a distance and this camo will fly by. Difficulty? Uh. That's all the tips I have for completing the snipers and marksman rifle challenges. If any of this helped you, leave a like. If not, dislike. Also, if you're not subscribed, I try to put out videos a few times a week. And if you made it all the way to the end of the video, put Oh baby, a triple! in the comments below. Peace.